So over those eight years, as you went from sort of being the fourth employee to seeing this company grow and I, I hope flourish, what, what did you learn? What did you take away from those eight years that's still influencing your career today? Oh my gosh, so many learnings. Um, <laughs> one of my previous managers, he used to say the phrase that you're your 20s are your learning years, your 30s are your earning years. Um, and I really embraced that. And throughout my 20s, I felt like any opportunity I had to take on a new challenge, let's go for it and let's do it. I learned a lot by trial and error um, as it related to growing teams and hiring people, um, taking chances on people who sometimes didn't exactly fit what you were thought you were looking for, but they had special skill sets or special traits that we felt like we could see the opportunity in growing them. Um, at this company, we hired a lot for what we thought their future growth might look like. We were open to hiring people that were more junior in their career, but had done things that showed us that they would have that aptitude to really excel down the road. Um, that taught me a lot about hiring and recruiting and being open-minded to people of different backgrounds and different skill sets and not always, if they have the exact pedigree you're looking for on paper, that's maybe not always the most important thing. Um, there's so many factors to consider when you're trying to find top talent. Um, some of the other things I learned, people management, building departments from nothing, um, building processes and the importance of building those processes early so that when the company scales, you're not having to retroactively go back and document things or retro retroactively go back and create those processes. Those are some of the biggest takeaways. Um, honestly, as well, just having a deep appreciation and care for your people because your people are what make the company. And if you don't take care of your people, then what you're doing doesn't really matter in the long run because you're not going to retain that top talent. And so for me, I think that was a huge lesson learned and something that I've now taken into future roles is the importance of really trusting and caring for your people and making sure that they are in a space where they are doing their best work. And the way to do that is through, you know, acceptance and creating that psychological trust 